Good day viewers. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about prime factorization. In my previous lesson, I have talked about prime numbers and factors. Prime numbers are those numbers that have only two factors, one and themselves. And we have also talked about factors. Factors of any number are those set of numbers that can go into that number without remainder. So if you combine a two statement, prime and factors, Prime factors of any number are the factors of that number that are also prime. So how can we obtain the prime factorization of any number? So first we want to obtain the prime factorization of number 12. There are two possible ways we can do this. The first one is by factor 3. We are going to first of all think of two numbers we can multiply together to get 12. And the numbers must be greater than 1. So 12 can be splitted as either 2 times 6 or we can split it as 4 times 3. Two is a prime number, so we leave it that way. But six is not. Again, we can split six into two and three. Likewise, 4 is not a prime, but 3 is a prime. We can split this into 2 times 2. So in either way, we have 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. Therefore, the prime factorization of the number 12 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. Because 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 2, 4 times 3. 3 is 12. And another way we can do that is to perform a successive division of this number 12 using all the possible prime factors of 12. If this is 12, the smallest prime number is 2 and 2 can go into 12 6 times. 2 can also go into 6 3 times and 2 can no longer go into 3, then we think of another prime number, which is 3, that can go into 3. So 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. Now let us take another number. 36. 36 can be splitted into 4 times 9, because 4 times 9 is equal to 36. 4 and 9 are all composite numbers because they have more than two factors. 4 can be splitted as 2 multiplied by 2. So now all the two numbers are prime. So we stop here. 9 can be splitted as 3 times 3. So all the four numbers are now prime. So we stop and say 36 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 3, 12, 12 times 3 is 36. And you can also perform a successive division of this number 36 using all the possible prime factors of 36. 2 can go here 18 times, 2 can go here 9 times, 3 can go here 3 because 2 can no longer go into 9, 3 can go into 3 one time, once you reach 1 you stop. 36 will be equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. The same as this. So this is exactly how to obtain the prime factorization of any number. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.